Hello, everybody. Nice to see some people already joined. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome to Pharisees live stream. It's nice to see you all. Uh, we have, uh, I think it's Robert Long, R. Long. I think I recognize that name from Facebook. Nice to see you. Hello, Ian. Um, hello, Derek and Robert Pfeiffer. Nice to see you all. Hello, Addict RC. Hello, Anthony and Rob. Matthew, nice to see you. We'll be starting in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, just uh, uh, hold on for a few minutes while we get a few more people to join. Uh, today is a really exciting one. Uh, we have uh, we have the CEO of Hobby Plus, uh, Calvin Yap, in the studio. And uh, we'll be asking him some questions about, about Hobby Plus's latest, um, latest uh, two products. Um, they have the Tea Hunter, which is just coming out, just came out yesterday. And we have the Rock Band, which has been out for about a month now. Uh, we'll be talking about those. Um, so hi, everyone. Hello, uh, Quinn. Hello, Joey, Eric, and William. Nice to see you. Hello, Arup, Rup, RC. What up? Uh, <laughs> hello, Eric. And um, yeah, guys, we'll be starting in a few minutes. Uh, we'll, the, the show lasts for about um, about an hour, and we will be giving away a lot of really cool stuff during the show. Um, we've got um, We've got two... RC car giveaways. Um, we've got uh, a lot of upgrade parts. We've got discount codes. Uh, so do stay tuned. Uh, feel free to just have it on in the background because you know we, we're going to be rambling on for an hour or so. Um, but keep your eye on it and uh, yeah, be, and do feel free to write comments, ask questions because uh, yeah, that can help to keep us going. Hello, Sun City Outlaw Crawlers. Thank you uh, for purchasing a rock band. I'm really glad you like it. Um, and hello, Kevin's RC Garage. Hello, uh, JSR and Pogo. <laughs> hello, Donald Sneff. I know that you are in Europe at the moment. Um, and so this is pretty, pretty late night for you, I guess. And uh, thank you very, very much for joining. Um, hello, Viking. Uh, XJ42. Um, hi, Michael. Michael, nice to see you. Um, hope you guys are excited about the new products that we have for show today. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, I know a lot of you guys have already purchased the Rock Band, and um, I, I think that you know the feedback for that has been really, really good. Um, today we're showing off uh, the new one, which is the Trail Hunter, and has some performance in, uh, enhancements compared to the Rock Band. Um, that we're going to look at today. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really exciting. If you like the rock band, I think you're going to really like this one as well. Um, so um, welcome. And let's see any more comments. Hello. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, cool. Um, I think we can get started. So um, Welcome, welcome, Calvin. Okay. <laughs> First of nice all, you. Thank thanks, you very much thanks, Joe, for inviting me to join Ferrasi live streams. Hi, everybody. Hi, all the Hobby Plus fans and Ferrasi fans. First of all, I would like to wish you guys Happy New Year's to Auto Tree, and then wish you guys as a very purpose New Year's on the Auto Tree. And most importantly, we can play RC every day. <laughs> <laughs> RC every day. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the dream. <laughs> that's that's really great. So um, so Calvin, you're the, the the CEO of Hobby Plus. Okay, is that right? That's yeah. your title. Yeah. yeah, I'm the founder and the CEO of the Hobby Plus. And then today I'm here to introduce our new products. Okay, to introduce our uh, rock band. If you guys have any questions, we maybe we can. Get, get along and have a chat with me. Cool. Yeah. Um, and, and so, uh, yeah, Calvin, um, yeah, thank you very much for joining. It's really nice to actually have uh, someone who really knows their stuff, knows the product really well to come on and, and talk, um, you know, and share, share some expert knowledge on, on it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that a lot of people, uh, hello, Armin. Uh, Armin is our video guy. And also, it's very early where you are. Um, yeah. Um, been, um, I think a lot of people will be really excited to mm -hmm. ask you questions mm -hmm. about um, about Hobby Plus itself. You know, I think mm -hmm. it's it's still quite an unknown like uh, uh, entity where people, you know, not sure where it came out from and 
um, you know, some of the company background and history. So we'll be looking at some of that. Um, so um, let's let's start off by just hearing a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, Calvin, where, where are you from and what brought you to RC? Okay. Uh, I started my RC early of the 2000s as everybody, I think I'm the same, I was the same like everybody else. I started with all the, uh, to be, uh, as a hobbies, and then I had my my first RC as, as a monster trucks, okay, on a very early stage. And then when, you know, when we came to RC on the old, old days, and then we start, I start learning on racing, okay, we, we race two wheel drive, four wheel drive, while the days we are still using brush version and all the nylon battery version. And then when it comes to the, the uh, when we're going on the race race track, mm. we learn a lot of techniques. Mm. Okay, we learn a lot of setups, and then and then when after a few years goes, the A scale buggies, the nitro buggies are really popular. Then we are we we turn to the A scale buggy buggy racings, and then we racing all over the Asia and then all over the country, and then. This is my how how I'm starting. So, so you RC. really come into this as an RC fan and yeah, an yeah, RC yeah. user. Yeah. Initially, I come as an RC fan and RC user, and then when we have some skills, and then um, I've been uh, factory team driver for all the small brand from Taiwan on the early stage for a few years, and then when we know a lot of people in the, in the industry, then don't know how I go into started my RC business in the RC industry. Mm. At the early stage, I opened up my own uh, <clears throat> my own lo local hobby shops in in Guangzhou actually. Okay. okay. And then uh, we build our own race team, and then we have our fans and team. We race together, and then mm. we get along very well. This this is so good about this is what's so good about RC. So after after a few years down the road. I have been go to work in the manufacturing line of RC and learn how to build and produce RC and develop RC. Mm -hmm. So after about seven to eight years down the road, then I started my own company, mm -hmm. Hobby Plus. Mm -hmm. So Hobby Plus is established on the <clears throat> 2018. Okay, 2018. So it's been going for uh, all, for almost five years now. Yeah, almost yeah. five years now. And then our first product, I believe some of our old Hobby Plus fans know our first products are the CR34. Mm -hmm. uh, we started with micro crawlers on a very early stage. And then after the CR34 came came out, we have our CR18. Then now the third platform, the new 18 p CR18, which is uh, these two. The new, new uh, products, the yeah. new platform. Yeah. yeah, and it's um, these these ones have been really well received. And uh, if, you're, if you're just tuning in, uh, please know that we are giving two Trail Hunters away today. So stay tuned and keep your ears open for uh, any details, because I'll be asking you some questions about, about the truck. And uh, the, the people who can answer the questions the fastest will be the ones who win. So uh, yeah, keep your ears open for any details. You might hear some clues during the interview. Um, so, so but, but you're not um, your 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 business is based in China, but you're not a Chinese. Um, yeah, I'm a Malaysian Chinese. Malaysian, Malaysian Chinese actually. Uh, and, and then I grew up in Malaysia. I grew up in Malaysia, and then I have been back to China for about 30 years now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for about 30 years now. Actually, I started my RC in China too. Right, yeah. okay, so, you, so you, you got into it in China. Yeah, yeah, I got okay. into it in China, okay. yeah. That's, that's cool. As, and, and so could you tell us a little bit um, about what makes um, Hobby Plus cars different from you know, so many competitors that are out there? What's, what's the uh, really unique points about um, Hobby Plus or how do you plan to stand out from from those competitors. Okay, uh, the the reason we start Hobby Plus actually we are focusing on building or producing some RC cars which is affordable and then people can afford to play it on a very reasonable price. Mm -hmm. And then from the design wise and development wise, uh, from the experience from we I have some experience from the racing and then we have I have the experience that I love, I love cars, I love how skilled it looks, and that we are trying to make some details to make 
the cars looks and runs smoothly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, so so it's it, I, I can see that you you spend a lot of effort in the uh, performance and getting getting the performance uh, as good as it can be, mm -hmm. and that's kind of a priority for for you guys. Yeah, yeah. because I I believe all the fans knows and everybody knows. It is a pain for us micro cars to have great performance because the size is small and then the obstacle is huge normally. Mm -hmm. So developing a small car with a great performance actually is uh, a little hard. Right. It's, it's a little hard. So all the while when all the while when we're focusing on the development of the small cars, we need to have a consideration of the scale and the balance between the performance. Mm -hmm. And also a very important the cost efficiency because we are making RPRs. Right. I think so, a lot of people are very happy about the mm -hmm. price point for yeah, these, yeah. these new cars. Um, let me quickly tell you guys mm -hmm. what uh, what the price point is. Mm -hmm. um, so so both of these are selling on our website at 119.99, uh, which puts it as as a really good uh, could say budget option, um, but uh, but a really high performing one at the same time. So if you're looking for for um, a, a crawler, a mini crawler that is, um, you know, that performs really well out of the box, you know, totally stock and it performs really great. Mm -hmm. um, and also has a lot of really cool upgrade parts available for a cheap price. And maybe, you know, maybe you're just coming into this hobby. This would be, um, this would be a really good choice for you guys um, as, as, as a first one. And also, you know, for, for people who are really keen on uh, getting performance out of their RCs and upgrading their parts. Um, it's, it's a really good option um, for people to have. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's really nice. Um, so let's have a look then, shall we? Uh, shall yeah. we have a look? So, so let's start Maybe off with... Can answer some questions. Um, yeah. A lot of question up there. Uh, we have great price. I remember one question which was, are, we go are you going to be selling in Europe? And, uh, you know, their RC does ship to Europe. Um, and what, are your, uh, what are your plans for the Europe? Uh, in Europe, actually, Hobby Plus did have a lot of dealers, okay, mm. which has rebranded under their brand in the Euro market. Mm -hmm. For example, in Germany, in the UK, and then in Czech, in France, we did have. But in Europe, in the Europe area, most of that they rebranded under their brand and sell in right. the lo local market. Okay, so it will be rebranded in yeah. Europe and come out under a different, a yeah, different yeah, brand yeah. Uh, later on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, if you want it now, if you want it um, while it's still popular and people are still uh, talking about it, um, I think FairRC is is a good good choice. You want to go to fairrc.com, and it will be on our our front page as it's the newest product we have at the moment. Um, so uh, I just want to welcome um, some some people. Uh, hello, RC girl. It's great to see you. And uh, yeah, RC girl is. Um, will be coming out with a video of her own on, on the Trail Hunter and the Rock Band um, over the next uh, week or two. So uh, look out for that. Um, and okay, we have some more questions. Uh, so uh, one of the questions is one that I really wanted to ask. Um, will you make a CR24P? So these are CR18P, these are 18 scale, and they, um, they're, they're P, um, is the CR18P is the improved version mm, yeah, of yeah, the CR18 yeah. rigs? So we we know you know a lot of people have the CR24s and mm. uh, you know um, are they going to are you going to make that uh, one as well? Uh, to be honest, in our plan now we did not plan to have CR24P at this moment because of the the because of the dry train we have and the size and then we mm. did not have this plan. Mm. But from the platform of CR18P, mm. we did have a huge plan on the on the coming futures. Yeah. Which we have we'll have more better version, more different version, which I believe you guys have to stay tuned. Okay, <laughs> that's really cool. So uh, so no, not not so much for the CR CR24P at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, more versions of CR18P yeah. and more uh, more different. Uh, more changes to the chassis, or... chassis, and then the trainings, and then the mm. bodies. Mm. We have some, some, something, something big is working on. Okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. Maybe you can jump, mm. you can crawl, okay. you can great speeds. You know? <laughs> um, and I just want to point out a little bit to you about the size. So have a look. This is the CR18 
um, rock band, CR18P rock band. And I'm just going to put this one next to it just so you can see um, the difference. You can see this one, uh, the, the Trail Hunter is actually quite nice and small. If you've got an indoor course, this is one that's going to work really well on that. And, um, and let me compare that with, um, with our modified uh, FCX24 and just have a look at these two. So this is the 24th scale, um, kind of, um, you know, kind of halfway anyway. And if you, if you have a look, they are basically, you know, very close. Um, this one has a longer wheelbase. Um, in terms of width, it's about the same. So, so if you've been using the FCX24, um, this one is going to be quite comparable, I think, in terms of the, um, you know, the kinds of courses that you can run it on, right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, you can, if, if, you know, the kinds of courses that you could run mm -hmm. with, uh, with the power wagon, mm -hmm. you, could, you could do the same ones with this one. It's, it's I, be... from, from, the design, from the design concept of the Trail Hunter, mm -hmm. I believe it has much more performance and clearance compared to the power wagon. Yeah, right. And that's a, something that uh, we're kind of going off schedule, but I think it's it's fine. Let's just take uh, you know go um, go with it. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a look, I'm just going to hold it up. Can you see how the distance between the wheels and and here and and the the, the bumper really doesn't stand out very much at all. So that that's going to make a really good approach angle. What's the what's the approach angle on this? The approach angle of the 300 achieve up to 60 degrees and above. 60 degrees. Yes. That's incredible. And the the back here, the departure the, angle. The, the departure angle is so huge, it, it achieved more than 80 degrees. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so that, I mean, a lot of people, they like the rock fan and uh, especially for the appearance and the, the style. Um, but, you know, um, some people are finding it hard to find, find the right lines with the, the, this big bump mm -hmm. at the same time. I, I kind of like that. I like mm -hmm. that it's uh, it gives you a bit of challenge. You know? mm -hmm. um, but uh, but if you're looking for something that that will perform better than the rock band, this uh, you know this one is going to make a big difference um, with the, the style. It's got a really short hood. That uni uh, Unimog style uh, car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, and then it's got a really sh really short uh, hood, and uh, and so that makes or really nice yeah, color, yeah, yeah. I think. As, as I have posted in my YouTube, for those who are looking for something different compared to scale looks, mm. maybe the Trail Hunter is a good choice. Because uh, sometimes when we make something scales, we have to, I mean, we have to find some balance between performance and scale looks. Mm. But the development of the Trail Hunter it's so it's so different is we don't have to consider too much about the scale looks we the most thing we consider is about the performance wise for example mm -hmm. we have some <clears throat> we have some uh different setup of the geometries and then we have long we have longer shock travels compared to the compared to the rock lines and then we have redesigned the whole body we have very, we have great departure angle we have great this approach angle and then I believe we have the most, we have the largest clearance, I mean, large, largest ground clearance mm. of the microcoils on the market now. We achieve about 45 mm and above. Wow. So we will make this Trail Hunter very capable on crawling. Mm. Yeah, on crawling. And then other than that, I believe all the fans who has already purchased the rock band knows we have one of the largest I mean, clear the spotter axle out in the market, and then the gears inside are almost bulletproof. Mm. Yeah, I believe everybody, I believe our parts will not sell, you know, <laughs> because the gears, yeah, yes, the gears are so, so I think the gears yeah. inside the quarter axles, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that's a really, really nice selling point, and we'll come to that in a minute. I um, it's been um, 15 minutes, so I'd like to uh, do our first giveaway for you guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining, um, and you'll get a reward for this. So uh, after um, I'm going to ask you a question, and the first person to give me the correct answer uh, in the comments uh, will win 
a trail hunter. So for this one, you get a discount code and then you just go to the to fairrc.com to buy it and you enter your discount code. So it's nice and easy. Uh, we'll give you the discount code uh, uh, on Facebook later. You need to comment, you need to message us. Um, so the question that I've got for you, um, I'm gonna ask you the question and the first person to answer is the winner. Um, please note that sometimes you answer the question and it looks like you are the first person to answer on your computer, but that's not the same for every computer. Okay, so um, so it may look like you are the winner, but the, the, the true winner is the person who appears first on our computer and we'll send screenshots of that later as evidence, okay? Um, so get ready. Uh, the other rule is that your answer has to be exactly the same as the answer that I write down on here, okay? So I'm writing it down and I'll ask you the question, okay? CR18P, what does the P stand for? Okay, get typing. What does the P stand for? We haven't given you this answer yet. Um, so what do you think? Okay, I think we've got a winner. I'm not gonna tell you the winner yet because we're gonna review later. Okay, but we will announce the winners on our Facebook channel later. The correct answer is portals. Okay, CR18 portals. Okay, and that's the biggest selling point for, for these trucks, right? Um, so we have, um, if you can have a look, I'll just show you here. It's a bit hard, but you can see that there are portals in the front and in the rear. Okay, and these have metal gears. What makes this such a big selling point, Calvin? The, the portal. Yeah, okay. Compared to the, all the portals on the market now, as I have just mentioned just now, we I think we have the largest clearance, I mean, compared to others, the mm -hmm. clearance of the portal. Mm -hmm. We have the height of 27mm and the widest the widest clearance of 61mm. Mm -hmm. So this is, I think this is the largest all among all the small, all the micro cars in the market mm -hmm. now. And then other than that, all the gears we design in the portal, we are trying to minimize the, the thickness and then to make it smaller and run smooth. And importantly, our portal is come with the standard CBD drive shafts as standard. Okay. So it achieve a great, I mean, steering angle. Mm. Let's have a look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's pretty cool, right? That's, yeah. I mean, it, you can see it much better on the Trail Hunter, but yeah. look, at, look at how, uh, yeah, how large this turning angle is. Um, this uh, sorry steering angle, yeah. Um, yeah, it's almost sideways. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I think that's one of the things that impressed me the most when I first used it um, was how uh, how tight this the turning. Can yeah, be. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, other than that, we we have a I believe we have a great setup on the caster of the portal too, mm -hmm. which makes the steering smoother when you're on full throw. Right, yeah. Um, okay, um, so uh, some of the other features of this one, um, I, I think we haven't looked at the transmitter yet, and maybe we can have a quick look. Um, so yeah, RC Girl, uh, metal gears inside the portals. Um, so yeah, plastic gears in the transmission, right? And, yes. Uh, and metal gears in the portals, um, but there are uh, optional upgrade parts uh, for uh, the metal gears so you uh, for the transmission so they're also available on fairrc.com i hope that um yeah i i think that will be a, make a really great uh, so we have uh, we had a few there was one question about um uh, when uh, when are we bringing out uh oil filled uh shocks and uh the answer is right here okay so oil filled shocks uh we've got them on sale now i think um, and we're also going to be giving some away in today's show. Let, let me make some simple introduction, <laughs> introduction of the oil shops soon. now. This is our new oil shops for the cr 18 p and this is also uh, usable on all the cr 18 Our oil shops, it, it came with all the hardware required and even though we have a hard spring inside, mm -hmm. for those who adding a lot of weights on the body, some scale accessories, or maybe for those 
who have has make some modification on hard body. So this is more tunable for for our cars and then and maybe some heroes can put it can put this thing on other cars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, yeah. um, cool. And we'll be giving some of those away a bit later on. Uh, we have another question. How is the body attached? Uh, let's look at the, okay. uh, both of them, shall we? Okay, They're, I think they're asking for the trail hunter. Okay, right. one of the selling part of the trail hunter is we don't have to take out the body when you want to do anything. Uh, for example, you want to change your battery or turning on, on and off the power. Okay, the on off switch is mounted out, is mounted out here and then the box behind the cage actually is, is functionable. The battery is put inside and then you can just change the battery here and then you don't have to take out the body, which is very easy for you when you're out in the wild. And then the battery that we use, I think all the Hobby Plus fans know the, the battery that we use has 600 milliampere, which can give you run time about an hour for a piece. If you go out in the wild, maybe bring two or three pieces, can have a great and fun time yeah and if you want to get to the esc mm -hmm. uh, how do you open that okay screen? if you want to get to the esc all you got to do is you take out the two screw here and then four screw on the side of the rail then the whole the whole cage and body we can come up with the whole piece yeah Please check the instruction manual when you receive the car. And the car yeah. comes with the screw for that, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, okay, good question. So, Thank any, you. Any question? Uh, do, we, do we have any more? Okay, there's a question for uh, multi stage transmission. Any plans for that? Uh, we did have some plans for that. And then our multi speed transmission, we have some different specs on it. And then this is all I can tell now. Um, Stay tuned to <laughs> CRADP. Okay, okay. that sounds really, really yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay, um, cool. Um, so let's let's have a look at the transmitter then. Um, mm -hmm. I think this is a, a really popular transmitter at the moment. It's um, it's Flystein, right? Yes, yes. Um, and wh why did you choose to use this transmitter? Okay, what do you like about it? Because mm -hmm. the transmitter and the electronic sets are from Flystein. It has great features with all with you, which you can control all the lights from the TX. And then it has PTX4 grade of water resistance. And most importantly, the power, the throttle linear of this system is really great compared to others. I believe this is one of the best system around the market now for RTRs, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, so, so just a quick overview is a uh, four channel system. Um, yeah. But you, um, the Trail Hunter and Rock Band mainly use two channels. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, it's got adjustments for throttle and steering mm -hmm. uh, and, and reverse. And also it's got these uh, little little features here which can adjust the drag brake um, and other features such as the, the lights mm, and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, these are, are really, uh, really, really nice. They fit into, the, into your hand. I think they're great for one-handed steering, which uh, for me, uh, I like to, to film what I'm doing sometimes, you know, so uh, you can film and steer at the same time. They're really comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I like I like all these grooves as well in them, which gives it a kind of quality finish and a, a nice feeling yeah, in the yes, hand. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, let's just quickly check some of the questions. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm not sure if Matt's here, actually. Oh, yeah. Hi, Matt. Uh, welcome. Matt is another um, one who's just made a video for the Trail Hunter. So, if, you're, if you want to see this one in action and you want to see a bit more in-depth um, analysis on it, uh, check out 2FMRC. Uh, that, that's, that video is live now. So uh, 2FMRC on YouTube. That's, um, yeah, that's, uh, I saw it this morning and it's uh, pretty cool. It's, it's pretty in-depth. Uh, he, he's also reviewed the rock band, so you can do a bit of comparison with them. Um, okay, uh, we have another question. It says, what is the used protocol? AFHDS, question from Armin. Uh, I think it is AFHDS. May I have the manuals of the... You want the box? The uh, the manual? Manual? Uh, there you go. <laughs> I did not really remember the, the full name of the systems. Oh, that's, that's uh, we'll have a look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what some other questions you've got. 
um, Donald Snap says it's an ANT protocol. Um, does that sound good? I think Donald is right. Donald is right. <laughs> you sound confident, Donald. So um, we'll check that for you. Um, yeah, if there's some questions that we don't manage to answer, you, we, we will go back and we can write comments after the show. Okay, so sometimes we might miss something. Um, and uh, yeah, we can go back and answer it. Really? Um, okay, okay, cool. So let's, um, let's talk a little bit about these tires. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are really happy with these tires. For stock tires, they work really, really well. They're very mm -hmm. functional. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about their design and, and how did you come to this design? Okay. okay. The tires of the Rock Band and the Trail Hunter actually we developed uh, with some kind of, first of all, it has the grips and then it has to be, it has to be looks scale. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, the grip is comes from the balance between the weights and the hardness of the tire. So if today we have a very heavy car, we have, this too, mm -hmm. we have a tire which is too soft, you cannot get wet great grips or the, maybe the tire is too hard we also cannot get great grips so the compound is very important mm -hmm. the compound is very important and then other than that the 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 foam inside the foam inside the tire mm -hmm. yeah. also so these, are, these are foam tires yeah. you can feel it the, yeah. the foam inside the tire the harness of the foam are also important mm -hmm. because when you crawl it can give you more grips and hold mm -hmm. up right yeah are they vented? These yes, tires? these are vented definitely tires. vented. Yeah, and uh, beadlock wheels. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, I think they're they're really nice. They feel good. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can you can feel that um, squidginess which which yeah. you like from um, crawler tires. Um, okay, and it says so it should bind to a Flysky G seven P. Um, it should it can. Can it bind with I'm not sure people? now, but we can give the information later. Okay, yeah. sure, yeah. sure. Um, okay, and um, so we've looked at um, a little bit. Let's look a little bit more at the, the design of these ones. Um, a lot of people are really keen on the design of the rock band mm. uh, because it's quite a, an unusual one. Mm. It's quite, um, we don't see many bands <laughs> you know, crawlers. And, uh, and, and I think it kind of brings back a kind of nostalgia uh, yeah. for, for the, uh, yeah, for the, for the 1970s, maybe I, I guess. Um, why did you choose this design? Uh, why did you choose to make a van? Okay, actually, in a lot of countries, van is a kind of multi-purpose vehicle which is loved by a lot of families. Mm -hmm. Okay, it can bring your whole families to have a vacation. Maybe it can become your work trucks, or maybe it can becomes one of the vehicles that can allow you to make money or whatever. Mm -hmm. So van is a is a is a point is is a key point that can brings this thing to our life. Mm -hmm. And then most importantly, I don't know why in not much people doing that in us industry. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And then for the yes. van body, I think it is difficult to pick it nice when the scale is large mm -hmm. uh, because the the body is so huge, right, and right. so bulky. Yes. Yes. So when it comes to the small scale, the rock, the band wheel looks nice. Right. Uh, this is what I think when yeah. we started on it. Yeah. yeah. And it does look really cool. And I'm yeah. just going to bring uh, this one as well. It's not properly. Oh, there we go. Let's just put that on. Um, so it comes in two different colors. Like, and we've got a uh, kind of metallic gray or yeah, almost silver color um, with uh, an orangey red color. I'm not sure how it comes out on your screen. So I just describe it for you. And it comes with these um, very retro um, stickers uh, for the back. These stickers can be taken off quite easily as well, which is great for, you know, if you want to um, make it yours. Um, and it also comes in this kind of uh, teal and yellow color, um, which is, is pretty cool. The, the windows are tinted, but they're transparent. You can see through. I think you can see my, my hand at the bottom. Um, and you can see this one. This one is, uh, it mounts differently to the Trail Hunter, uh, the rock band, and it's, um, uh, it's got two clips at the, at the back, just here. Um, uh, actually, uh, the clips are missing from here, but uh, you, you can see them just here. Um, it's got two clips which you can pull out, okay, and then you can just open it up like this. 
Um, and so it's really, really simple. The battery mounts just there. And uh, yeah, and it, all the electronics are really easy to access, which makes great for modding the parts. It makes it really easy to do. Um, the, the look of the van is really cool. And I think that's set off by the light functions as mm -hmm. well. Um, so we don't have one with battery to show you, but the, the lights function, uh, they, they uh, function at the front and at the back, LED lights. And you also have, um, have made some really cool upgrades yeah, uh, upgrade lights. Yeah, the upgrade lights, the spot lights, and then the the fault lights in in a package. Yeah, yeah. they look awesome. Yeah, yeah, they look really cool. So, um, so the light, the light, the there. lights bar, the front bumper is designed to fit the light bars. Right. right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and uh, and uh, there's also some. Oh, yeah, it's a big fog lights at the front that that will work. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a question. Um. Someone's asking, are you planning to make any different scale uh, scale cars? Um, any uh, one to 12 or one to 10 scale rigs? Uh, that's from, I think I remember your name was Michael um, Viking. Okay, <clears throat> Hobby Plus will keep on developing products and then from, we, we only have micro scale now, maybe we have larger like tail scale or fan scale on the later stage. Mm -hmm. We were definitely developing it and working hard on me. Yeah. Okay, that sounds really yeah. promising. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, okay, we have um, any more comments? Um, Sun City Law says you have the blue one and it's very retro. This is the, um, this is not the rock band, right? What's that? Um, I can't see what you guys are, are discussing actually. Um, but, um, but yeah, um, let's, let's have a look. Um, I think it's about time that we do a second giveaway. So we just had one, and I'm going to ask you another question. Okay, um, just a moment. <laughs> Let me get my board. <laughs> and we have another question, which is, um, I'm going to ask you, and you need to be the fastest to type the answer. For those of you who are not great typers, this should be a bit easier for you. Um, remember, your answer needs to be exactly the same, and we will announce the winners after the show on our Facebook page, um, and we'll, we'll show screenshots. The fastest, the first person who ap appears first on our comments list is going to be the winner, and you can win a Trail Hunter. Um, you can choose which color you like. There's army green, and there's also a sandy yellow color. Um, and normally these retail for $119.99, but we're giving this one away. And I've got a question for you. Uh, earlier we talked about the uh, about the approach and departure angles. So my question for you. And it needs to be exactly what I write on my board. Is how many degrees is the departure angle? How many degrees is the departure angle? Okay. And once again, I'm going to announce the winners on um, yeah on, uh, on our Facebook page later. Um, the answer is 80. Okay. 80 is the departure angle. Some people wrote 60. That's for the approach angle. Um, anybody who uh, wrote degrees, uh, it's not necessary for you to write degrees because I said, how many degrees is it? So the answer is 80. Okay, so uh, you don't need the, the word degrees. Okay, um, but uh, yeah, so it needs to say 80. The answer, the winner will be 80. Okay, um, all right. Congratulations to the winner. And we will announce that after the show. Um, we'll send you a discount code. All you need to do is uh, is contact us by, by Facebook for the winner, and uh, we will send you the discount code, and then you go to our website to enter it. Okay, congratulations, guys. Um, let's go back. Let's go back, shall we? Um, we've been looking so far at the two trucks. We've looked at the rock van, um, which is really nice and comes in two different colors and has a lot of really cool upgrade parts for it so far. Uh, we've also looked at the Trail Hunter, and we do have the yellow one behind me. Behind me. Yep. It's a yellow, sandy yellow. Um, I like the box. You can see the product inside, um, and it's kind of tied down with, uh, what, what do you call it, the tags that you that you tie the product down at the bottom. Uh, zip ties. Zip ties, I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and uh, it's really, yeah, really quite secure. I, I mean, we've not had anybody um, saying that 
any any product has arrived damaged or anything like that. Um, so it's really it ships quite nicely, I think. Um, and it comes. Uh, the box also contains all the information about the wheelbase, about ground clearance, and things like that. Okay. Um, so um, let's talk a little bit about upgrade parts. Um, so it seems like every week you're bringing out new <laughs> upgrade parts. And I, I think that's a really, really good and important thing. Yeah, we are working hard to creating some optional parts and upgrades for our Hobby Plus fans mm. to make the crawlers more capable mm. on, on any terrain. I mean, in crawling or maybe some of them they are on training or they need some weights on the front, on the rear or bottom or whatever. Mm. So the most important what we are trying to suggest, or the, the upgrades on the first, the first upgrade we suggest on the rock band on the trail hunter is actually the, this thing, the metal gears. This is very important for, for, for it. The metal gears is made from billet HD steels. And then the, I see some questions just now. Mm. The drive ratio of the metal gears is actually same as the original. It's just the, we change it from the plastic to the HD metal. So with this metal gears, you are worry free. You are worry free on the durability of the gears after you upgrade this. So this is very important to upgrade. And then other than that, the weights. I think all the crawl, all the people who crawls or scalers, okay, they know the weight, the weight balance and how you set up your mm -hmm. weight is very, very important mm -hmm. to make your crawlers capable. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our the weights of our wheel weights is 26 gram per piece, and then the weights of the weights of our wheel hex is 11 gram per piece. Mm. So you can mix and match. You you can mix and match the weights between you are adding some on the front on on or on the rear, and then on the, in, in the weights or on the hex. So this is more tuning options for right. all the end users. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so uh, you don't need to put them all on. Yeah, you don't need to put them all on, right. on it. You can fine tune. Right. Uh, it's just it's easier for you to fine tune. And then other than that, as I see some questions just now, some some fans are asking for some rock slider. Actually, we will have something coming within this one or two days. Yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so watch out for, for our website. All new products will be coming on fairrc.com at uh, a, a standard price. Okay, so um, let's yeah look out on our website for that. I saw another question, which is from Robert Pfeiffer, which is, what is your favorite car that Hobby Plus has released so far? Does that mean um, your favorite action, like what uh, the car that it's based on, the, the or, or what is the... Uh, your favorite product. Okay. Mm. Uh, the favorite car of Hobby Pass product up to now, of course, the latest rock vans is one of my favorites now with my kids. Mm -hmm. And then the products before the rock vans is the Kratos. Mm -hmm. The Kratos is really nice. Mm -hmm. We made a nice body and then it looks cool. Yeah. And then it runs great. Although it's an older version than the rock van. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's older version on, compared to the CI native platform. Mm -hmm. but it still runs quite nice. Okay. Yeah, um, I love that. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay, and then we have another question from Quinn, uh, which is, um, will the brass hubs allow other 1.0 wheels, for example, seven millimeter wheels? Uh, it's uh, Quinn RC. Okay. Like you said, uh, will the brass hubs yeah. allow um, other 1.0 wheels? Yes. 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 So you can still use uh, the brass hubs with different wheels. Um, Even though our hubs. old C CR24 can oh, use. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, good. And MRC, mm. have you thought about overdrive gears? We are actually making a whole new training now. Mm -hmm. We are focusing on making the whole new training now. Okay, awesome. So we, sh we will have some overdrive gears mm -hmm. and then Something different. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Um, all right, and so so we have um, these are the top uh, upgrade parts. Just in your view, we have the brass wheel weights. Uh, we have the aluminium oil field shocks, which are going to be really awesome. 
uh, we have the metal transmission gears and we have the um, the wheel hexes, also brass, uh, yeah, brass wheel hexes. Um, we'll be doing a competition for uh, for you in a few minutes, uh, and you will get the chance to win all of these parts. Um, so uh, there will be five winners for that one. So uh, please uh, stay tuned. Five more minutes. We'll have another question for those parts. Um, but I think it may be a good chance now to. Oh, uh, sorry, I did see another question before we go on. Uh, another question, which was, can we do an unboxing on the live stream? Uh, I, actually, we, we've already kind of opened it now. Uh, we, we can't do the, the unboxing, but I can show you what's included in the box. Okay, so um, so let's quickly do a, a review. So uh, the box, the, the trail hunter, the tea hunter is ready to run. Okay, uh, that means it comes with nearly everything you need to get it running straight away. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the AAA batteries which go in the transmitter. Uh, you need four AAA batteries in here, and that's pretty standard. Um, okay, so let's have a look um, inside. Oh, we haven't opened it yet. Um, let me, where did I put my uh, box opener? Maybe. Ah, there's a knife here. Ah, it's under, it's under the power wagon. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so it comes with the manual. Let's open it up. The manual, what, do you know which uh, languages? English. Just all English. All, English. all English. And I think it comes, if it's the same as the Rob Cobby one, it also comes with a very nice uh, diagram. Yeah, of all the parts. These, this is really, really cool. You don't get this in all... Um, in all RC cars, but it shows, it, it gives you the, the numbers, the order numbers for anything that you need. Anything that's that's broken, uh, it's really easy to get hold of them. And, and Fair RC are very, you know, we're very good at, um, if you've broken any uh, something, um, you know, if you've just bought something and, it's, and something's broken, um, we do replace them for you. And it also helps you to, to know which parts can be upgraded. Um, really nice details on that manual. Um, also gives you the transmission information. Um, okay, I'm sorry if you're having any trouble with the signal, guys. Um, I hope that that's, that can sort itself out. We'll be monitoring it ourselves. Um, let's have another look. We've got here the battery, and let's quickly discuss the battery. This one is a 600 milliamp battery. Uh, 7.4 volts lipo. Um, make sure that you don't leave these plugged in. Take them out when you're not using them. Um, so the battery comes included, and it also comes with a, a portable charger, which you can use um, for yeah for charging. Just uh, plugs in, and then it's a USB port. Um, so there's that. It comes with the uh, the screwdriver for opening. Um, if you want to get inside and uh, adjust the ESC. And also it comes with uh, this tire tool for um, for opening your tires, um, for taking your tires off. So it comes with everything apart from those AAA batteries, everything that you need, and of course the transmitter itself. Um, so it's, uh, that's, that's what's included in the box. I hope that kind of helps. And it wasn't a, a true unboxing, but a good look for you anyway. Um, do we have any more questions uh, while I was talking? Did I miss anything? Let's have a look. Where's the mouse? Um, okay. Um, I think uh, it says, do the small cargo doors on the side of the chassis open? I'm afraid they do not. No, no, mm -hmm. it's not open. It's, it's only the battery box can be open. Mm. Yeah. Um, but there's really nice detail though in that, and it looks like it can open. Yeah, it's 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 um, really nicely detailed, and I love these kind of uh, oil tank oil cans as well on the side, and the extra tire that you get. I think another cool feature is um, I think for some of your older products um, they didn't have door handles mm -hmm. and stickers, right? Yeah, this is all new. So this is another feature that's new for the CI18P. Is it actually comes with these plastic parts, which are really cool. Um, battery box is really nice. You're right, Robert. Um, and uh, yeah, and it comes with um, 
yeah, a lot of really nice little details. There's some stickering going on there. There's a, a cover for the window, and if you take that off, the windows appear much clearer, um, and it's got little windscreen wipers. Um, this is the Trail Hunter you can find on the Fair RC website for $119.99, fairrc.com. It will be one of the first products on our page. Um, yeah, nice looking bumper with a with a Hobby Plus logo sticker <laughs> on the front. Uh, that's cool. I like it. Um, all right, so let's um, let's have a look then at um, yes, the Trail Hunter does have lights. Yes, it has a front and rear you. lights. Let's show you, shall we? Let's turn it on. So yeah, the button is really easy to access just here, and it, the lights just blink when you turn it on. And let's get the transmitter on. Okay, I haven't actually we haven't shown you properly like things like the modulation of the wheels. Okay, a really nice slow crawler and speed up. What's the speed like compared to the CIT 18 platform? Just the the basic platform. It's about 10. It's about 15 percent slower than the CR18 platform. Um, and um, uh, what's the uh, the upside to that? Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, is the the torque is also uh, on the on the other hand with a slow speed, it has much more linear power delivered, and then it has much more torque when you come to comes to crawling. And it, it, um, let's um, give you a quick example. I'll just place my hand here. Well, I, I was going to move my hand down just in case it didn't it didn't manage it, but my hand's at a pretty steep angle there, and it's getting over it pretty nice. Um, so yeah, and let's look at the the steering angle. And what's the turning radius of this? The turning radius is about the same with the rock band mm -hmm. because it has the same axles and then same system setup. And that was about, was that 80 centimeters? Yeah. 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 Um, okay, let's, um, let's turn it on. Okay, so we've got something else really cool for you. Um, okay, first of all, let's do the giveaways. Okay, so we are giving away all of these parts, all of these parts um, as a set together um, to five lucky winners. Okay, so I've got one more question for you. And it's something that uh, you may have heard earlier in the show, and I'd like to test your memory, okay? Also, to test, test your attention span. So <clears throat> let me erase the last answer. Okay. The new question. The first five people to answer it correctly will win the whole set of, uh, of these parts, which we looked at just now, okay? The question is... Uh, how heavy are the brass wheel weights? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, okay, let the answers come in. Once again, how heavy are the brass wheel weights? Okay. I'm going to accept the short version, the, the, the abbreviation and all of the of the weight uh, the weight measurement and also the long word okay so um, it can be abbreviated or not okay now I think we've got the okay so we're looking at the brass wheel weights okay um, and the answer is if you, I'm not sure if that's backwards or not 26 g 26 grams okay so I will accept a g or the word grams okay it needs to have that part in it okay not just the number how heavy uh was the brass wheel weights they are 26 grams a piece okay um so first five answers we will we will announce the winners on our show later but congratulations to the winners um yeah i hope that you really enjoy playing with these parts okay um so the last thing that we'd, we'd like to show is a really cool thing actually um and um is just behind me, and here we go. Uh, this is the CR18P Builders Edition. Okay, uh, when is this coming out? Okay, the 
through all, all the voices and all the requests from what we got, we heard a lot of bands which they would like to build their own very unique CR18 van. The CR18 P van, mm. maybe they can build their D18 van, their maybe their mystery machines or some other cars which they can customize. We have made our builder's edition now. Mm. The, builders, the builders edition will be start shipping somewhere around middle or end of February this year. Mm. And then most importantly, this builder edition is very beginners and season ho season hobbies friendly. Even though a beginners they can build the cars very in a very simple way, and then they can after they build they can paint the body on mm. they, they can paint the body what and customize the looks that they want. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, yeah, like uh, Donald Snap uh, mentioned. Um, uh, also, Donald Snap has some really great videos on on the CI Team P as well. By the way, um, they mentioned it's not a lot to build. Um, that's part of the draw to it is that it's quite it's very user friendly, very yes, beginner yes, friendly. Yes, yes. It's easy to build. But also you can make it yours so you can decorate it yes. and, and uh, aside from that so it comes with all the parts that you need including the transmitter yes um, the builder's edition it comes with all the parts you need including the hardware the transmitter mm. the electronics and most importantly we have putting some upgrades inside the standard package is come with the wheel weights and the metal gears as standard now so oh, the builder's edition. Right. Yeah. So that's that's a nice thing. Um, when you get that, you get a few extra upgrades. Um, I think maybe take this part off. I'd like to open it up and show you. Okay, for anybody who's uh, maybe not done a builder's edition before. Um, okay, let's have a look. Okay, manual. Yeah, we have a very detailed manual. Screw. And and the wheel uh, tool. We have the chassis, a partially pre-built. Okay, and we've got the suspension in there as well. The shocks. We have the, the wheels and the wheel weights. These are the brass wheel weights upgrades that we don't get on the standard version. Um, okay, and the tires, the beadlock tires. And here uh, we have the left hand body. I won't open it for you, but you can see that it's a clear body inside. Um, so yeah, nice strong body. I like this, and um, and it also comes with the stickers. Yeah, you you, you, you have the window mask. You have the stickers. Everything included. Okay. Yeah. And are we asking for the price? Have we set the price yet? Um, not actually, yet. Not yet. Check our website. <laughs> okay. Stay Check tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. We've got the motor here. Okay, we've got the transmission and uh, the, the axles. Portals. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's um, the links for the suspension. This is four wheels, uh, four link suspension, by the way. Mm -hmm. And we also have the transmitter, batteries, the electronics, everything else, the electronics. The yeah. Okay, so um, that will be on our website, uh, and we're really looking forward to seeing what you do with them. Uh, how you design them. We may have some competitions and things like that as well. Um, someone saying you would rather have a, a builder's kit for the Unimog uh, Viking. Um, I think that might even come out in the future, would that? Uh, please check this. <laughs> please check this. <laughs> okay. Oh, please check so, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I hope that answers your question. Um, Okay, yep, yeah, so th there's a lot of really interesting designs that might come out of this, some, some ones that we might predict, and I think it will be really fun to see what you guys do with them. Um, all right, we're nearly approaching the end of our show. For those of you who have been watching and enjoy and, you know, and participating um, with us, I'd like to you know, make sure you don't leave empty-handed. So we're going to give you a discount code for the Trail Hunter. Um, the first 10 people to use it can uh, will get uh, $20 off, $20 off um, for the Trail Hunter. Okay, so, um, so I'm just going to give you the code, and then all you need to do is go to our website 
and uh, buy the product and then you enter the code and you can get your $20 off. Okay, so the code um, here is T Hunter, T Hunter with a hyphen. Okay, so and a lowercase t. Um, first 10 people to buy the Trail Hunter with this code will get it. Okay, if it says that your code no longer works, that's because 10 people have been before you. Okay, um, so there you go, T Hunter. Now, all you need to do to get that, to do that is go to our fairrc.com website, okay, and choose the Trail Hunter, choose the color that you want. They come in army green and sandy yellow. And uh, when you buy it, enter this discount code to get uh, to get twenty dollars off. Okay, um, I I hope that that helps anybody who's kind of on the fence of whether or not to buy it, and it helps you to make that decision. Okay, um, let's see if we've got any more questions. We've got uh, uh, four more minutes, so we maybe can manage one or two more questions. Um, ETA on the builders mob. Um, any idea builders, when this might come out? The Builders Mall, I, we don't have uh, ETA yet, but we expected to have it somewhere around late March. Okay, uh, late March for the Builders Edition for this one. Okay, we will, we, we will also be selling the, the body separately. Um, just yes, the, yes. Just the body. Yes, yes. Um, so, so if you're, you know, you're looking at it, you can also buy the parts separately if you want to get started early. Um, and any more questions? Um, uh, thank you, Pogo, for sticking around for the whole hours. Uh, yeah, great. Thank, thank you, everybody, for joining us. People are still giving us the, uh, the answers. I think we've probably got the winners already by now, but who knows? Who knows? Um, and uh, we have a question about FairRC website. Is FairRC shutting down for the Chinese New Year? Uh, the answer will be uh, yes, basically. Um, if you order during that time, your order may be delayed for uh, until the New Year's holiday is over. So it's better to get the items that you want now before the holiday so that we can get shipping to you as soon as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for that question. Um, and if you have any questions about, um, about our deliveries or anything about our products, please do contact um, support at fairrc.com. Okay, this is the email. If you have any trouble with any products um, or you want to know more about our shipping or, or any information like that, support at fairrc.com, we will get back to you. Okay, we're also available on Facebook, um, but uh, I, you know we tend not to deal with um, customer problems through Facebook. It will be better to use this email. If you want to go to our uh, Facebook, if you've not joined Facebook, this is fairrc official. And now, um, guys, we've just started using YouTube as a real platform and, you know, putting out some really cool videos on it. But I would love for you to check out some of the awesome videos that we've been making recently. We'll be posting some new videos for the Tea Hunter and the Rock Band uh, very soon. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do, because uh, we, we, we're still down, you know, with the small numbers for subscribers for YouTube. And I think that you know we've got a lot of really exciting content coming out that you're gonna really want to see. So click subscribe um, and yeah, and please stay tuned for all the extra awesome new products that we have. The next few months are gonna be really cool. Uh, we've got some. I walked into the HQ the other day and there were some really cool products that I want to tell you about but I can't um, in the office and to show you guys. Um, so, uh, okay, we have a few more questions. Can you release the winners of the content tonight before the video ends? Not during the live stream, I'm afraid, because we need to go back and check it, uh, but we will send it tonight, okay? Um, any upgrades for the fire horse? I'm not sure at the moment if we have any, any real upgrades for them, but, um, but do stay tuned. I'm sure uh, we may have one or two things coming up. Um, I'm, I'm not sure about that one. And finally, um, Quinn, the best Fair RC live stream yet. I totally agree with you, and I've been really, really happy. Uh, thank you so much for dealing with all the questions and, and really showing us what these products are about. Uh, thank I, you, Calvin. Thank, thanks to Fair RC too. I have great time to, <laughs> on today's streams. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, it was really we enjoyable. Hopefully, we have more chances to have streaming with with Fair with our latest new products, or maybe some talks about our upgrades, and maybe I build. Uh, I find a chance to build a car here. Right? <laughs> that would be cool. We might we might uh, build one of these when it comes out, maybe um, for the live stream. So um, thank you, yeah, thank you very much for joining. Um, and we we will be in touch. We, uh, we're now supporting Hobby Plus really, you know, um, as much as we can. Um, new products. Um, we're, we're hoping we will be able to release on fairrc.com.com. So if you like Hobby Plus. Um, Stay, stay tuned on FairRC for all the latest products. Um, okay, uh, we will be sending uh, the winners for the contests um, to Facebook um, with screenshots to show our evidence um, at the end of, uh, just after this show. So please keep your eye out for that. We'll also be contacting the winners um, directly if possible. Um, and, and then uh, we just need to send you the code for that. If you don't hear from us, um, uh, if you if if we're not on the list, never mind. Uh, next next time, you know we have more discounts, more giveaways we can do. Um, stay tuned for the next live stream. Um, we're always you know happy to to share some of our products with you guys. Um, thank you and goodbye. We'll finish there. Thanks a lot, guys. See you all. See and you all guys. Bye bye.